Hey everyone, this is Rich Noto, Florida Licensed Realtor, Florida Licensed Home Inspector in Notary Public. So right now I'm over at Windsor Island Resort. Got a fantastic townhome over here. This is a five bedroom, four and a half bath, 2,263 square feet. It's probably one of the nicest townhomes that you'll see anywhere. And these are very popular with investors. Windsor Island Resort is a short-term rental community. So when you first walk in, you got this nice section over here to the left. Got little cubby holes, so to speak, for storage or shelving. And where those pillows are, it lifts up so you could you could put stuff underneath and store it. This is just storage underneath the stairs. A lot of space. It's a big storage. There's your hot water heater. And it's nice that it's on the first floor. So off to the right, as you can see, you have a bedroom, which is one of the things that makes this townhome great and a smart move for people that are looking to invest when you have a nice larger size room like this on the first floor you definitely expand your audience of people that will rent it out and that bedroom is right next to this nice full bathroom and the shower sinks down a little bit, which is nice. Here's your whole closet. Now the kitchen is really fantastic in this and so is the living room and the little dining section. But I'm gonna come back to that. Let's first step outside. There's your pool. You got this great screened in area. I mean, look at all this space. And look at all that space to sit outside. You know, they got four chairs over there off to the left, but you could fit more. Depends how you place them. Just a lot of room. Great pool. You got a seat on one side over here to the left. You got your steps on the opposite end. I'm going to show you two things over here that are also nice. You got a half bath over here. So you got a nice toilet and a sink. Now, as I always do say, contact me first before you contact any home builders so I can represent you. And you got a storage closet out here. Just great. I mean, nice size closet. Now when you contact me first, I'm going to help you along the way throughout the process from start to end. So let's take a look at this kitchen over here. Kitchen's really nice. Just look at all those cabinets. Just a lot of space. A lot of space to cook and some nice cabinets. Yeah. Pantry is good too, especially for one of these type of homes. Homes that are made for vacation rentals, 
typically are set up a little bit differently than residential homes. I personally like these better, but they do shift the space. So when you come up here, you can see I got this great loft. closet out here too the storage you know just picture people showing up on vacation they got their bags you can unpack a little bit looks like they got a queen size bed in this room and the nice thing about this room is that it has its own attached bathroom Now, if you are interested in a rental property, vacation property, contact me so I can go over your options with you. And I do that in person when we're looking at homes. Pros and cons. Now this master bedroom is gigantic. I'm gonna come back to where I am, which is all the way behind this chair. And where's my feet? There's my legs. <laughs> just so you can see just how big this room is. Okay, you got your shower. And you got a little, little walk-in closet. And here's your air conditioning room. You could always put more shelves in this closet, no doubt. For me, it's super important that you have a fantastic experience from start to end. So when you call me, what I will do is I will schedule with the sales associates that are the best in each community when possible. So these are people that I've worked with, I've screened them. Because when you go alone, you can end up with anybody and your experience can be good or it can be really bad. Hence why sometimes people call me and they want my help when it's too late. Fantastic, just a fantastic townhome. So this bathroom is shared between everybody that's using the loft and these two bedrooms. Okay, so right now I'm standing inside of the master bedroom or the owner's suite and I'm going to give you some isometric higher up views along the way out and that way you could see rooms like this and the other rooms from a different point of view. The perspective sometimes changes and helps people to, you know, kind of get a better feel of it. But this, this room, um, this room is really, really, really large room. And then the room next to it, this is the one that has the full bathroom attached. You can see the bathroom over there. All of the bedrooms in this townhome though are a really nice size. And this loft really makes it great. So you got the loft over here, which is kind of the uh, central area for everybody. Plus you have your washer and dryer. 
up here. Really, really well laid out, very smart. Now, one of the other things for me that's super important when I help people is to make sure that the home is assembled correctly, okay? So there's a whole process that I'm gonna go through with you after contract. So that means you're in contract, the home's being built, or maybe the home's an inventory home. So there's gonna be a whole process involved and it's just super important to make sure that the home has been assembled correctly. And that's one of the things sometimes that people just totally neglect, which is kind of strange because a home is the largest purchase that most people will ever make in their lives. But yet it's treated like they're buying a loaf of bread or a TV. Not good. Let's go back out to the pool. I'm gonna show you the pool from a high up view. Very high, very high. Look at that. Just, I mean, just fantastic. So, you know, a home like this that has five bedrooms, you could, I mean, you could easily rent this to 10 people. Potentially even a little bit more if you were to maybe put in like a, a you know, a sofa bed, a, a sleeper bed. Very good, great home. I'm gonna to try to give you a high up view showing the kitchen. Just fantastic. Now, if you have any questions, as always, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact me. If you're interested in seeing vacation homes or residential homes, contact me so I can schedule appointments and show them to you. And you know what, let's, let's go in here. Let's try to get a, a view of this room. This is the bedroom that's on the first floor. Now, as I did mention before, if you are interested in vacation homes, I do kind of go over the pros and cons of the various communities as I'm showing them. So just something to keep in mind, you'll have some nice additional input along the way. And my service is paid for from each new home builder. So it does not cost you anything. Essentially, it's free to you. The builder is just paying for it. Now, if you don't use my service and you go alone, the builder is not going to reduce the price for you based on the fact that you went alone. It just doesn't work that, that way. Excuse me. All you really do is you end up missing out on a great service, a ton of help along the way over the course of whether it's five weeks for a, a short term or uh, potentially six, uh, six months or eight months for a full build. And thank you again for watching. Have a great day.